Now, Blackfish on YouTube sends me the following message. Do you support the Moroccan fans trashing cities in celebration of their win, George? What does being African or Muslim have to do with playing soccer? I'm going to infer, as you use the inane word soccer for the game of football, uh, that you are a North American. I may be wrong. You may be British. If you are British, uh, then you've got a bloody cheek talking about the behavior of fans at international uh, football uh, tournaments. Because there's no city in Europe and beyond that hasn't been trashed by England fans in international competition, whether at club level uh, or at international level. But let me continue with my inference that you are an American. If you don't understand what is significant about an African team reaching the semi-final of the World Cup, then you are a very stupid American, and I know that there are some of those. Because that would mean that you had no idea that your country was built on the labor, the blood, sweat, and tears of Africans who were brought by slave traders, oftentimes British, in chains through the Middle Passage, in the bowels of slaving ships, and put to work in your country of America, in chains, in manacles, as slaves, as owned domestic beasts. And if you don't think that is of any significance, that that continent of Africa, colonized by all of the European powers and raped and murdered by those colonial powers, Leopold of the Belgians, beaten by Morocco in this World Cup, killed 15 million people.